Welcome back to Around the World in 80 Telescopes, a live 24-hour webcast that is part of the 100 Hours of Astronomy project for the International Year of Astronomy. You're joining us at the European Southern Observatory headquarters near Munich in Germany as we visit some of the most advanced telescopes both on and off the planet. We're now going to the ESO's first observatory site, La Silla in Chile. Before we join them live, let's see uh, what they're about in this video. Let's go live to Lasia now. Hello, Lasia. Hello. Hello. Can you hear Hello, me? <laughs> Hi, Caspari. Yes. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Uh, well, first of all, welcome to the control room of. La yes, my name is Gaspar Locurto. I am an Italian astronomer uh, working uh, here in Lasia as a support astronomer, which means uh, uh, I'm making sure that everything is working. Uh, fine and everything is all right uh, before we start observation at night and we make sure that uh, the scientific quality of the data that are 
the information at the observatory is, uh, is the, most, the best that we can obtain. In particular, I am the astronomer responsible for the 3.6 meter telescope and uh, the ARPS instrument. Uh, behind me, you see the console. 2.2 meters and of the entity telescope. And on my side are my colleague Ivo Saviani and Blair Hi, uh, my name is Blair Conn. I'm an ESO fellow. I'm a support astronomer for the 2.2 and I'm also responsible for the Whitefield Imagery Instrument. Yeah, and my name is Ivo Saviani. I am the head of science operation here at the observatory, which means I'm responsible for coordination of the work of a team of roughly 20 people, including Gaspar and Blair. And I'm also acting as an interface between the observatory and the rest of the organization. And part of my duties are also supporting uh, the instruments and uh, taking care of the LTT telescope. Well, thanks. Nice talking to you tonight. Can you tell us a bit more about uh, the La Silla Observatory? We're now just, we're just coming from uh, Las Campanas. Uh, I guess you're just neighbors. Yes, uh, we are just down the road from Las Campanas. We are located uh, about 150 kilometers north of uh, the city of La Serena and the beautiful Elqui Valley in central Chile. Uh, the observatory is located at an altitude of approximately 2,400 meters. And we are just inside the edge uh, of the Atacama Desert. Um, the Atacama Desert being the driest place on Earth, it ensures us uh, pristine observing conditions. Indeed, um, uh, we have more than 300 observing, good observing nights per year, which means clear skies and our seeing. And you, have, you should have heard just a few minutes ago the, a good explanation of the seeing given by our colleagues in Las Campanas. It's also extremely good uh, most of the time below one arc second, which uh, really makes this observatory excellent for astronomical observations. Uh, as you saw in the, uh, the little film at the start, this is uh, La Silla is the, the premier or first observatory for ESO, and uh, this is actually its 40th anniversary. And by the way, it is about 30 years ago when the 3.6 meter telescope was offered to the astronomical community after uh, its uh, commissioning time. So yeah, and it's also another anniversary. Uh, it's the anniversary of the NTT telescope, uh, which had their first light uh, in uh, 89. And uh, the NTT was really a technological uh, feat for the time. It was the first time a, a telescope was equipped with active optics, which means the shape of the primary mirror can be controlled uh, to take care of the flexures introduced by pointing in different directions of the sky. So uh, thanks to the experience gained with, uh, with the NTT, ESO uh, has been able to proceed and uh, uh, have uh, great experience for the projects that, uh, that came in the future. So can you explain uh, a little bit how this the, works? I mean, to, earlier today we were at the TNG, which I think is, uh, is a little brother of the uh, NTT, and the, but the NTT telescope on La Silla is really the first telescope which had an active mirror. How does that work? Yes, uh, the mirror is supported by a number, uh, in particular 78 uh, pistons, that are actively controlled through electronics and computers. And uh, uh, during the night, uh, uh, we image uh, a star in parallel with the, with, the uh, with the scientific targets. And the star goes through something called a shark hatman, which is a system that uh, splits the pupil in several sub-pupils. And uh, uh, comparing the position of these uh, little images of the stars with, the, with an image we take in the afternoon, we are able to uh, determine the corrections that have to be applied to the primary mirror in order to uh, get it into the perfect shape or the, the shape that guarantees the best uh, uh, image quality. So very sharp images. Um, what are the kind of astronomical research that you do with these uh, with these telescopes, the NTT and the 3.6 meter telescope? Yeah. Uh, so as was mentioned in the video, the the uh, uh, La Silla Observatory is here since 40 years, and uh, by design it was. Uh, built to serve the white community in, in Europe. So here the kind of research, research that we do and has been done in the past covers all uh, aspects of uh, astrophysics from solar system to cosmology, from stars to stellar systems. And so this is what uh, we are also currently doing uh, right now. Uh, I should mention that uh, uh, until some time ago, we also covered the wide electromagnetic spectrum. We have uh, instruments from the optical uh, up to the uh, sub-millimeter with, with the SETS telescope. We also had, uh, we also had a mid-infrared camera, which were used during the uh, deep impact uh, event. You probably remember this uh, impactor that was launched 